Last week I shared with you some tips on how you can grow a garden without actually having to spend a single cent. And I'm going to share a few more because there are so many of us that grow edible plants at home or annual plants and collecting the seeds and reusing them is really clever. Take this corn for example. I had a fantastic crop this year but there were a few cobs that weren't perfect and I kept a few over which is something you should do at home. Whenever you plant out 10 edible plants keep two of them for the seed. The next generation will grow so much better in your garden than the first generation. This corn what you do you pop it in here and you let it sit there. It dries out and by springtime you're going to find there's all this fantastic corn ready for planting out in the garden. Best of all didn't cost you a cent. Brilliant. Flowers are very much the same case, although these huge heads which drop their seeds once dry should be picked soon after the flower has finished and the back of the flower head starts to turn yellow. I love sunflowers and the seeds are good for you too, but for us growing them in the garden at home is simple and it looks amazing. I'll be planting these seeds in September in an open, free draining, sunny spot. Now, if you want to grow a fruit tree at home, why don't you grow one that's got great value, looks fantastic and is easy to grow. The simplest tree to grow is of course the avocado. They're fantastic trees and to grow them, well, you can buy them grafted and you do get a specific variety, but look, that's the nut, that's the seed that comes out of the fruit and they're so easy to grow. You can even pop a, a couple of toothpicks on either side and sit it over a glass of water and it'll drop roots down and send a shoot up and then plant it into the garden. Or pop it in a pot with some potting mix or even into the soil in the garden like I did with this tree here. They'll take off. They do take a bit longer to produce fruit, anything up to seven years, but once they start producing, you'll end up with heaps of fruit. Speaking of trees, the ultimate fruit tree for me is the mango. My trees are just producing fruit now and like all fruit trees you're going to get large fruit and some small fruit. Keep the little ones for seedlings or make sure you save the seeds from the big fruit that you'll be enjoying the flesh from now. Now the great thing about mango trees is they'll grow just about everywhere in Australia except for Tassie, it's a bit too cool. But they're a beautiful tree and they're incredibly prolific. Once they get going to a mature stage like this one, this is five to seven years old, it's not unusual for us to get crops in excess of a couple of hundred fruit. Much of that fruit is around about the kilo mark and the great thing about that is that you'd normally be paying four to five bucks for them. So the return on investment is sensational. So growing them from seed makes a lot of sense. Now have you got some gardening tips you'd like to share with us? We'd love you to do it and the simple way to do it is to pop a photo up on our Facebook site. We can share it with our friends, might even do some stories about it on our show.